Oh, you found it. He's talking. He says, lady, pick up the stick. You've got a humongous stick in your hand. I'd love to have that one. He says, would you stop talking and throw the stick? Come on. Woohoo. So stop talking and play with me. You know what, guys? Sometimes the Lord says, stop talking and doing stuff. Pick up the stick. Throw it. I want to play. I don't want to talk. I don't want to, I don't want to work. I just want to have fun. Uh-oh, you okay? I don't know his name, but I think it's Angel. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. So we, we were playing just a few minutes ago. And um, he lost his stick. Oh, well, actually, he didn't lose it. It broke in half. And he was kind of upset. You could tell. Man, you could tell he was, like, visibly upset. And uh, he went and did his business. And he came back. And what's so funny. You want, is this what you want? Okay. Have you ever thought about it? I mean, seriously. We're like the dog playing fetch sometimes. Man, every time we come back to the Lord... It's like, come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. All right, give it to me again. At some point, saints, you need to realize the Lord's already given it to you. This is not a game of fetch. He's already anointed you. He's already appointed you. You don't have to go find a stick. He's already given you everything. He's given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. But then again, you know, we'll come back to him and it's like, oh, look, I want to lay this at your feet, Lord. But Lord, please pick it back up and toss it back out there for me. This is a game. You know, this sin is a game. Yeah. Oh, I want my sin back. Please, please pick it up, Lord, and give it back to me. I got to have it back. It's a game. The Lord said it ain't a game. Well, I don't know if he says ain't or not, but in my language, he says ain't. In dog language, he says, woof, woof, woof. I guarantee you, he knows dog language. That's what the Jews thought we were way back when. The Jews... Consider Gentiles, non-believers, dogs. God, uh, he has a sense of humor. He turned them into man's best friend. Now, look at the nature of the dog. Now, seriously, come on, saints. Think! He decided, well, Lord, this one's too big for you. This sin is too big for you. I'm just going to pick it up and chew on it a while. I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to go bury this bone. Well, we know it's a stick. Come on, saints. Have an imagination. I'm just going to take my bone, chew on it a while, savor the sin. I'm going to bury it, come back to it later. Come on, saints. Lay the sin down at the feet of the Father and quit asking him to toss it back out for you. He's not going to. He took the sin away for God himself, the Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, made him, Yeshua HaMashiach, to be sin for us. That we might be the righteousness of God in Christ. He took everything and he bore it on the cross for us. Your sins were nailed to the cross. Stop playing a game of fetch with the Lord. Oh, I'm just going to come over here and hand you my sin today, Lord. I'm going to give you this bone. Um, okay, thank you for forgiving me, Lord. And then you walk away and you forget that you should be playing not a game of fetch, but a game of, not even a game. Let's just cancel that out. That's not a good word. Stop playing games. Lay your sin down at the Lord's feet 
and stop playing games. Stop playing fetch. Like, okay, here, I'm going to give you this stick. Throw it back out for me. Here's the bone, Lord. I'm going to give you, you know, I'm going to give you a few minutes. I'm just going to play this little, I'm going to play, literally, yeah. I'm going to play this little game with you for a few minutes. And then when I get tired, I'm going to take the bone. I'm going to take the stick. I'm going to take my sin back. I'm going to go play with it. I'm going to, I'm just going to have some tasty chew time. And then I'm going to go bury it for a rainy day. And then I'm seriously going to pick it back up and come give it to you again. And do the same thing over and over and over. Saints, get out of the dog mentality. Sin is not a game. It's not a game of fetch. Get your Bible out. Read what thus saith the Lord and ask him to show you the truth. And saints, I can guarantee you when that sun shines and it shines the light on the darkness, you're going to have an amazing, amazing understanding that the Lord really does take the sins and the burdens and he will not pick them back up and throw them out for you to play with to play a game of fetch with him he takes the sin he takes that dog bone that stick whatever you want to call it he takes it and he throws he takes that stick and he throws it into the sea of forgetfulness. Okay? Never, ever to be remembered again. You're the one that keeps remembering it. You're the one that keeps picking it back up. You're the one. And instead of coming out and just having some peace and time alone with the Lord and laying it all down and not picking it back up, you're the one that picks it back up. You come and you woo, 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 woo. Come on. I want to play with my sin again. God doesn't work that way. I'm playing a game of fetch here. Angel buddy over there. He's a dog. He does what dogs do. You think maybe we need to stop with a dog mentality? Ah, don't you pick that stick up. Ah, let go. Woo. Yeah, that's not a, that is that is not a play stick, Angel. Now you see, look at that. He says, well, if you ain't going to play with me with the big stick, I'm going to go back here and get this little one. Hey, thank you for, um, yeah, no, that'll preach too, saints. He said, well, this, this sin over here looks better. I'm going to go get it for a while. And uh, the Lord says, eh, don't you pick that up. It's mine. I dealt with it. I cast it away. Do not pick it up. You think he'd just go on home. But he's a dog. He's going to go right back to that sin. So saints, the moral of this story is don't be a dog. Okay? Don't have mentality that takes you right back over and over and over and over again. I love it when a dog does that because I'm playing with him. It, it, re it really is enjoyment for me. But with you and the Lord God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it's not a game. Give him your sin, saints. Give him your sin once and for all. Quit coming back, playing a game of fetch with God because he took, he took, he took it all to the cross. He bore it on Calvary. And he said, eh. Don't you go back to that. Leave it alone. It's mine. And I'm putting it in the sea of forgetfulness. And the Lord says, it's time you put it in the sea of forgetfulness. Saints, I bless you today. I bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. And I thank God that not only has you, he healed you and cleansed you and made you whole and made you worthy, but he's given you his mentality. He's changed your nature. You no longer think like a beast. Yeah. You think like Christ. So put on the helmet of salvation. Bye, angel. I had a good time. Thank you for the video, angel. The angel spoke without even saying a word. He just spoke to us in doggy language. 
we need to learn from the animal saints. I don't, I don't mean bring them in the house and let them, you know, live in the house with you and, you know, be animals. But, um, some of them can, I guess. But I don't care what you say and bring no elephant or horse in my house, okay? He's going to stay in the barn. But I love my pets. I love my peeps. Love my friends. Love my families. All of my families. And I mean families in that manner. Because I have families all over the world. I'm just going to say this. Have a blessed day. A sister with a testimony. In the field. On the hill. Enjoying the glorious majesty of the Lord God Almighty. Thank you for the sun, Lord. Shining on us. Making us warm. But most of all, thank you for the sun. Yeshua HaMashiach. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have a glorious, blessed day. I love you, I love you, I love you. We're going to post some videos about this trip and how glorious it has been. And um, wow, some of the things that the Lord has shown us, you can't even wrap your mind around it. All right, Angel, I'm not playing anymore. No, no. Time to go home. Leave it. Go home. Go home. Sometimes you just got to turn your back. Sometimes the shepherd's just got to turn his back and say, no more, child. No more. When you figure this out, child, I'll be waiting on you. I got to go find that one. I got to leave the 99 and go get the one. Saints. Pray that the Lord never, ever says, I will not continually strive with man to you. Pray instead that he say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Sister with a testimony, have a blessed day. Love you. Later. Angel. Angel. Thank you. God bless you.